Welcome to WVTC TV Network, capturing family moments in real time, bringing families closer together from the comforts of home. We are unleashing something different to the world. Start your subscription today for the low price of $4.99 per month or $55 annually. Go to www.wvtctvnetwork.com to sign up today. WVTC TV Network is streaming live on eight different platforms. You can easily download the WVTC TV Network app on the Apple Store, Play Store, Roku, Fire TV, and more. Here at WVTC TV, we have access to movies that everyone can enjoy, including independent films, Sons of a Preacher and a Good Thing, Treasures of Life, the epic drama, The Passion of the Christ, and the box office hit, Madagascar Escape to Africa. Remember, go to www.wvtctvnetwork.com and sign up today. God bless you. It's the time you've been waiting for. That's right. Don't worry. I am your host, Senior Talk with Claire Hubbard on a beautiful network. We want to thank the proprietor and friends of WV, how do you say it? WVTC. WVTC Gospel Radio and TV Program for inviting me here today. Um, I am very <clears throat> excited because now is the season for a good time and celebrating life. And I am very excited. One of my good, dear friends gave me a call a couple of days ago and said, hey, I'm in town. And guess what? The Gap X band is coming to the city of Chicago, state of Illinois, and the party is hot. So here I am today, my good friend, Chris Black. We have been friends. Oh, my goodness. Hmm, 20 plus years and better. We're getting better with age. No shy about that. We're excited. <laughs> but let me tell you, everybody, when I first saw the, the flyer that you're going to see for the promo, they're here this weekend in Chicago. They're going to turn it out. Got a special thing coming up tonight if you want to join us. But let me tell you, I was excited because the first thing I wanted to see sing when I saw the flyer was, my heart is yearning <laughs> for your love. But that's another day. That's another day. <laughs> that's night. So joining me today and in this beautiful studio, I'm very excited. We were in a virtual green room and we almost had the show in itself. <laughs> so I just want each of you gentlemen from my left to introduce yourselves and who you are in respect to this beautiful group that we're going to talk about. Hi, everybody. I'm Maxie. And what do you do, Maxie? What's your responsibility? I'm the, I'm the lead singer of the Gap Head. Well, shoot, you should have started. Okay. See, okay. <laughs> Yourself, my friend to the right. I am Chris Black, and I am the bass guitarist. Okay. And I'm Oliver Scott. I sing and play keyboards, kind of utility guy, fill in the blanks. All right. Fill in the blanks. <laughs> fill in the blanks is always helpful. You are always <laughs> present. So let's talk about this, gentlemen. Um, the title alone, everyone will not, will be, will say, that's not the guy band. Yeah. But tell us about the inception and who would ever want to start about the band that you're presenting now, is it Gap X? Tell us what that production is. What is the inception of that concept coming from? Well, Gap X, we call ourselves Gap X, the band. And that X has a dual meaning. X is short for experience. I'm the eldest member of the band at this point. And I was, I got in the band in 1979, the Gap Band. 
Hmm. Um, uh, some folk call us side men. Some of, some folks just call us the Gap Band. Whatever you want to call us, I was there from Shake Your Booty, which is the first national tour that the band did, up until uh, I guess 2010, 2011, when the band just kind of dispersed and Charlie Wilson went solo. So the X means experience, and we just shorten it for X. Uh, the guys who experienced that 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 rise of the mm-hmm. Gap Band in the uh, early 80s into that those that they're the highest success time that they had and so that's what gap x is for and so when the band broke up and dispersed uh ronnie wilson the oldest of the wilson brothers who rest his, his soul mm-hmm. uh, he started the band back up in 2000 what year was it chris 16. 2016 and so in 2016 again the gap band came together and he called it some of the older guys who were in the band back then myself roman Billy, who's still with, with, with Gap X, called us back in and we did a few dates together, but it didn't quite work out for a multiplicity of reasons. And so we decided since we were wanted to continue to do it, we couldn't we didn't want to call ourselves the Gap Band formally anymore. Mm-hmm. So we but we are connected to the Gap Band strain of success. We were there for those years. And so we said, let's call ourselves Gap X. Gap experience is what we were. All right. So we just shortened it with the next. So let's talk about the funk. Ah, that's, I mean, let's let's when you think about it, if you just play the instrumental without vocals, people are still dancing and moving their body. Funk right. has its own rhythm. Yeah. It has its own genre. So tell us about the funk in the times of inception with the Gap Band itself. You know, back back in the uh, early '80s, late '70s, early '80s, bands were the thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, bands have almost disappeared uh, as far as popular bands. There's sure. a lot of bands out there, but sure. popular bands were, were really the thing. You had Earth, Wind, Wind and Fire, which is like they're at the top of the heap. But you had bands like the Commodores, Gap Band, uh, uh, Cameo. Uh, just so many bands were really coming forward with that funk. But the funk bands were like Gap Band, <laughs> Cameo, uh, Arcades. There were a few other groups Lakeside. out there. Lakeside. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was Ohio players. I mean, they did funk, they did R and B, soulful music. So it's it's a it's a vibe. You're right. It's it, it's a feeling. When you hear it, you know it, and it just makes you want to move. I we, tell you, that's hopefully like, we still got that. I think you we still got it, you know. <laughs> and I'm so excited because you all are perform tonight, and we're gonna have Chris talk about that. Yeah. But I know the term, a song that Bob Marley says: "One thing when you hear music, you feel no pain." Mm-hmm. And so that's what funk is to me. Yeah, you know, when you close your eyes and you hear old music, and with my radio program, we do something called midday music for our senior groups, and okay. we play old school music, and it's just they back in a good time where life life is good still. Let's be clear. Mm-hmm. But you know, when we were just enjoying ourselves and we were gathering as families, you know, and some of the songs that you performed and in, mm-hmm. in previous were family reunion songs, you know, yeah. right. it, it was the original cha cha cha. You know, so let's talk about um the gap X. You've been here, you were here last year, and you're coming, you're back again for another great experience. Tell us about what has taken place over the year and what we should expect tonight. So tonight, what, what we're doing, we're gonna be at the Royal Bistro, mm-hmm. and it's we're going to meet, greet, you know, meet some people, but we're also gonna give a sneak peek. We can give you all of it. <laughs> Not all of it. You got to come tomorrow for that. Right. But we're going to give you a sneak peek. And if you don't have your tickets, you got to go and get them. Yes, sir. We're going to do a couple couple numbers. And you have to come and, and, and experience the party. <laughs> the party is going to start tonight. Yes, sir. And then we're going to move it on mm-hmm. on to tomorrow night. Right. So we're just going to give you a little bit. So... As we can, um, we've been friends for many years. So let's talk a little bit about your career. I mean, just a little bit. We're going to bring yeah. it up to speed. Yeah, you know, yeah, you can do a short version. Because this could be a docu-series. But <laughs> let's, let's bring it up a short bit. Talk about what Chris Black has been doing. All I know is when I knew you, I think I met you, you had a bass in your hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that was some 20 years ago. So let's bring people up to speed in your career path and who you've worked with before. So we met actually in the 90s. Mm-hmm. That's a long time. Mm-hmm. We still, we still, <laughs> we still, we still we doing it. That's right. Have a bass in my <laughs> hand. And at that time when we met, I was touring with this play called Paint the White House Black. Hmm. Paint the White House Black. And we had did Chicago at the Regal. Yes. Ooh, the Regal. God bless the Regal. Um, that's that's what we did. But o- over the years, I have performed, toured, and played with 
many people, yeah. you know, from uh, Beyonce to Kelly Rowland to Lil Wayne to Juvenile, um, Angie Stone. I mean, it's Regina, it's Regina Bell, music director for her, uh, 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 Phil Perry. Uh, so I, I, I have been blessed to be able to perform or tour or record or with many, many people. And uh, my life is really, I always I tell people my life is colorful. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, it's colorful because, yes, music is what I've been doing. But then I took a, a, another path because I wanted to help people. Sure. You know, uh, I experienced some things. I experienced sickness, um, diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And I was able to be healed from that. Yeah. You know, just yeah. through a lot of things that I was doing, uh, a lot of things that I learned. We call that, you can find this book. But it's after the mindset change. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Achievement, achieving, winning mindset. Yes, sir. So, so from that, you know, I, I was, I wished I could bottle up what I did and just hand it out. Mm -hmm. But it don't really work that way. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. you mm. know, you can lead people, but they don't mean they're gonna take it. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know. So I said the best thing I can do is offer up, you know, my experience and things to them. And, and educate myself, not just the experience, but do more education. Mm -hmm. So got my master's, got my doctorate in psychology. So I, I wanted to be able to just not be the person to say, yeah, this is this is what happened, but actually understand the technical aspect of what people are going through. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. I can speak that language to them. I love it. So we're going to come back to something because um, I want to talk to you. So how is there pressure on your behalf being one of the lead vocals? Yeah, and Not, producing these beautiful songs that everybody sings. It's almost like karaoke at the party. Is there pressure on your end? No, I don't really feel any pressure at all. I mean, this is what I do, what I've been doing many, many years. You know, my, my side of this, I came into this group from, from a different angle. You know, I live in Europe, and I've been over there like nearly now 40 years, and uh I was singing, you know, some gap band stuff on YouTube, and uh, one of the guys from the band saw the video and said, yes, hey, man, you got to check out this guy. He's yeah, like, really? he yeah. sounded like Charlie Wilson. He's like, you know, and people hey, started come tonight. <laughs> kind, of, yeah, kind of coming at me and everything, yeah. and they contacted me, and we started talking, and there was a member of ours, actually, who just passed this year. His name is Anthony Walker. We called him Baby Gap. Yes, sir. Baby Gap Band. Charlie's yeah. right hand man mm -hmm. just passed away. He was the guy that discovered me on, on YouTube. Yeah. And that's how I got to the band to these yeah. guys. I love yeah. it. That's a good thing. Yeah, that was when uh, Ronnie started the band back up. We right. brought Charles in right. to be the lead singer at, at that time. That was in 2016. 2016. Mm -hmm. So how can we let's this is my term. How do you keep the authenticity mm -hmm. of the gap band? Well, what we can't keep is the gap band together. What we can keep is the authenticity of the sound. And yes, I think yes. when you hear us tonight at the bistro or even uh, on Saturday evening when we, when we when we do the the big event, you'll hear that the DNA of this band is directly connected to that season of success yeah. that the gap band had between 1979 and 89, 90, 91, however long that was. I, uh, I, I, I hear it, and myself, Roman, and Billy have all served uh, during that season I just spoke of mm -hmm. as musical directors. Got it. And so we, we we came to understand the feel and the vibe that really was authentic, like you say. And so now when we bring in guys, we really know what to look for, what to listen for, and what to say. Yeah, that's that's not quite it. Why don't you do this? With, you know, if a drummer comes in, you know, that block them, block them, block them. It can't be da 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 you like you, you thought about this interview and started singing my heart mm -hmm. is yearning. Well, I wrote that song. Mm -hmm. So I'm me being, <laughs> I'm part of the construction of the tapestry of the music at some essential level. Yeah. So not only did I write it, but I played on it night after night on tour, burn rubber, early in the morning, all of those songs that were made popular. 
there are guys in the band now that were on that stage and in the studio then. And so that authenticity is kind of inbred in us. So we, we'll never get away from it. We can't leave it. <laughs> yeah, I, I just yeah. thought about So I got a quick question. Okay. This song early in the morning. Uh -huh. Was that a real bird? <laughs> It was a rooster. A rooster. That's Nobody, a real rooster. Got a, I don't know where got that sample of a rooster. <laughs> that was my. That was my so it's I a real rooster. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I thought, you know, my, my, I know many people who play that song in the morning. It's a lead off song to get up in the morning, and that was a good thing. Right. So now that we are, um, we talked about something in the virtual green room, which I thought was really good, and it's about hmm, the thought of AI. And in some regards, some of the some of the um, technology is replacing actual live experience of entertainment. Yeah. How has that affected your music, or has it not? Because I I know we got a full band tonight and tomorrow. Yeah. You know. So how? What was your voice? What's your thoughts on that? The AI experience, and sometimes um, not having the true element of a band in place. Because I know some people will do. They got the recording, then they're doing multiple things at once. But what about some other people who want to be a part of production? You know what I mean? What's your thoughts on that? Well, I'll give an example of how we still can use AI and it be a part of the live experience. Okay. If, if you've seen live performances by the group, what's the group that did uh, Homo Scrubs, Young T Ladies? TLC. 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 They'll have a hologram of uh, Left Eye. Mm -hmm. and, Point. As they sing the song, and you can refer and see a part of his. That's AI. That's technology. Sure. Right. That's a good thing. Whitney Houston. We can go to awards and, and sing along with Whitney. Mm -hmm. uh, Natalie Cole did a duet with her dad, and he would been long gone for years. Right. And so there are ways to use technology and still be a part of the live experience that, that does not contaminate it, but can it ex enhance the experience for folk who are there. Yeah. And so I think th there are good ways to use it. Of course, there. Abuse, you know, we had abuse before AI took over. I mean, we everybody knows the Miller Vanilla story, mm -hmm. you know, where they weren't even singing; uh, it was just a track. And so you can misuse anything, but I think you're going to also find good uses of the technology that enhances the experience for people who are there. And so I think that's what we're trying to do. Chris kind of kind of leads the way there. Maybe he can talk about how we use stuff, you know, that's connected from the past. You know, guitars that were brought in from guys who played, but that we're playing, they're playing along with us now. So my, my thing with AI is that it's clear that we're, we're not supposed to use it to totally uh, replace the experience. And that's the problem. Yes. Yeah. You know, pe you. people don't take the time as we did to learn music. Mm -hmm. They take the shortcut mm -hmm. and they just grab the AI and we just going to put that right there. And they're not really true musicians at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Press on the button. You know, yeah. they, so so AI is there to help us. It's a tool. Mm -hmm. That's right. if, if I'm a mechanic going to my car, I need tools to fix it. Got you it. need specific things. Yeah. So I, I use it to enhance what I'm already doing, mm. the skill that I already have, mm -hmm. but just enhance the different tools. Mm -hmm. So and 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 you you said something about where the music is and, and where it's going. The danger is, as we go from generation to generation, the music gets so diluted that that years to come, will it ever be? Will it go to not real music at all? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Will it go back? Yeah. Well, yeah. Machines are producing it. Yeah. What? Yeah. Like you tell that in AI, you can do this. You can tell AI, I want to write this song, this style, mm -hmm. talking about this subject. And it is spit out the words. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, like, what happened to just writing from the heart? Yeah. Writing what happened to the girl smoking around the right, 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 You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Writing from your experience. <laughs> you, you wrote a song because you broke up or you had a bad this and you <laughs> you sat down and wrote. No, yeah. none of that no more. <laughs> let, me, let me spit this on now in about one minute. And yeah. so that's. Well, you know what? And you're 100%. And I agree with both of you. I just personally feel that. AI to me takes away the human element Absolutely. of communication. Absolutely. Yeah. That's well, just to a certain yeah, extent. To, yeah. It does. The challenge with AI is we have to always understand AI can only put out what you put in. Mm. 
So AI you, can't operate without a human yeah. actually putting information in. Machine, it can yeah. only take the information you put in it, sort it in a way that's kind of like based on computing and algorithms and you know whatever it, the computer does inside and you know a mishmash of that and spit that back out. But it's still something you put in. And it puts it out in a way that may that's not human, mm -hmm. but it took human uh, uh, resourcefulness to put that in. And so AI, I don't think we need to fear it. I think there can be abuses that can really throw people off. Yes, and, and really do a lot of damage, both visually and uh, with audio as well. But I mean, if 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 we're going to be guardians of the art, we can't close ourselves to new technologies, but we have to certainly. Make sure we're doing, doing our due diligence to make sure that the human element is not being replaced. Absolutely, by Absolutely. machine, not being by right. artificial intelligence. I mean, it's it's, and you can do that. You can do yeah. that. I think we do a, a decent job of incorporating. You know, Jimmy Macon, uh, uh, rest his soul, was a guitar player. We have some of what Jimmy did as a part of what we're doing now, mm -hmm. but we have a guitar player too. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. So, so you know, so what. It's critical too is this, as you mentioned, Chris, our new artist, and respectfully, if you are in this industry, do research. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please research. Mm -hmm. Look at those who've had careers who've done it successfully before you. Some of us are just social media, just using social media as our whole A and B. Mm -hmm. And there's no plan of action in the middle. And so if we don't get X amount of numbers on this or X amount of algorithm, ag what's, it, what's the word? Ag Algorithm. Algorithms, yes. we have failed. No, we have not. But if you do your research and produce and put together, have a plan of action, some of us just want to be social media stars. And that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. You know, but there's a plan of action. So let's talk about your career. You coming from Europe, what have you seen differently in coming to the States? that maybe the musicians or the uh, protecting your art is from being in the States from Europe? Well, I think it's about almost the same. <clears throat> On that level, everybody pretty much is doing the same kind of thing. They're trying to protect what they create and whatever like that. It's just a different culture, different sound, but everybody does basically the same. Mm -hmm. So tonight, everybody. Tonight. The night. <laughs> we are going to be, I said we are, because I'm a plan to be there. We're going to be at the Royal Bistro, which is at 2352, 172nd Street in Lansing, called the Royal Bistro, R H O Y A L Bistro. Be there tonight. What time, gentlemen, roughly? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Then on tomorrow, they have a performance that will be in Glenwood, and we're going to bring that up shortly. But as we were closing out in our virtual green room yes, this earlier today, we had a whole show in itself. Yeah. And so I said, and it was heartfelt to me that we lost an icon. And many of our icons, you know, performers, actors, a lot of great people who have, as I consider, lived better with age. Um, but the passing of Frankie Beth, yeah. mm -hmm. to me, I said to myself, I've never known a life without Frankie Beverly. Wow. I'm 53. So, I mean, I was born in 71. So, I never knew a life without Frankie Beverly. So, from your end, we're going to start on your side. Frankie Beverly, to me, was like almost losing, and respectfully, like losing Dr. King in regards to mm. what he gave and how it was so universal. So, what are your thoughts on his passing and what would you like to say? Like you said, he was a great artist, a great icon. You know, every time you got around the years when all the jazz and funk festivals were happening, you would always have Frankie Beverly maze. It was like a staple. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you go in your house and you make some food, you better be some macaroni and cheese. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Like, you know, he, he he's a staple. Yeah. You got to have it. And what about you, Chris? I, I think that, I mean, Frankie Beverly is, he's part of the culture. Yeah, mm -hmm. part of the movement of music, you know. So losing him, like you said, it's it's like it's losing the icon yeah. that's a part of the foundation <laughs> of this music in the live band. Wow. You can't mm -hmm. go anywhere, any party, without a Frankie Beverly song. Not a yeah. one, not a one. You you can't. 
You can't. Not a real one. So, so yeah, not a real one. So, so that, 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 that's the foundation. <laughs> He's just the foundation. Right. And losing him is, is like losing a part of that. So like moving forward, I mean, it's like today people need to take note of that. Yes. His longevity. Yes, sir. He did exactly what he wanted to do for years and years and years until it was his time. Yes. He did it all the way up until it was his time. Absolutely. I believe he knew that. Yes. He retired and within 30 days he had passed. Yes. But having the having the ability and the opportunity to touch so many lives yes. and an entire generation. I'm like you, I don't know life without Frank. He's mm -hmm. been a part of staple every from as long as I can remember. As long as I can remember, you want to play a Frankie Beverly Frank. song at a party. And not just in the club. You see, after he passed away, they were in church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me yeah. say, We Are One is the official family reunion song right after the yeah. OJ. <laughs> <laughs> family reunion right after that is We Are One. That's the second family yeah. reunion song. Uh -huh. but give us your closest statement on Frankie Beverly, well, if you would. You know, there's certain voices that when you hear them, you know it. Who it is is unmistakable. Frankie was one of those voices, you know, iconic. Luther, Aretha, Stevie. When you hear Frankie Beverly say, "We are one," mm -hmm. I can sing that. But when you hear Frankie sing it, you know that's Frankie, and that's somebody else. Oh, <laughs> that's somebody else singing Frankie's song. Uh, he he, he uh, contributed to the tapestry of R and B. Yes. And just a soul for sound in a way that's unique and will be with us always. That's why you record this stuff so that Frankie's gone, but his music will live on. And so uh, losing him means that he'll not be doing live performances. He'll not be creating music anymore. But what he left us is so valuable. It's golden. Absolutely. We'll always have it with us. And so we have we we have you know we have a lot to be grateful for. Like I said, I had the, the privilege of doing a couple of dates with Frankie when I was with the guy man, back in the day. Mm -hmm. And I was able to stand by the stage and watch him perform. Him and Teddy Pendergrass, we did a couple of dates with artists like that. And so I'm just glad to have had that experience up close and personal with him right. to, to, the, to like, now I have that memory. It's yes. not going anywhere. And so we have not only those memories, but we also have that music that will be with us. We'll, we'll sing it at Family Reunion. Absolutely. Absolutely. Other artists will record <laughs> Do gospel versions of stuff. <laughs> yes, sir, right, right. So, so yeah. but you know, let me say this: I had my one experience by way of his brother. Uh -huh. One time, Frankie was performing in Chicago at the Airy Crown. They were driving up the motor coast to the hotel I was working at, and his brother said, "Can someone take his laundry and put it in the washer and return it in his bag?" So I had his white hat, his shirt. Wow. And his pants, I sat at the laundry in the hotel wow. and put it back and gave it, to, returned to his brother because that was his thing. His white hat, that whole yes, outfit. Sir. I mm -hmm. was like, wow. I was just like, <laughs> just like bro, I just returned it to him. But the one thing that I want to say is um, we just want to thank you all for this broadcast. It's just yes. been great talking to you, gentlemen. Yes, um, we definitely will stay in touch over the years. I wish you all Godspeed, travel, and grace. Yes, but one of the things that Frankie always said in in his closing retirement was, I don't want to thank you. Mm -hmm. And that's what he said. And so we want to thank you. Thank, thank you for sharing this experience. But do not forget that you need to join us tonight with the Royal Bistro in Lansing. Tomorrow night, they will be at, I can't see that. Let me see. Uh, they're performing in Glenwood, mm -hmm. Illinois, Glenwood. at Glenwood Oaks. Glenwood Oaks. Glenwood. So what we're going to do, if you're watching, you can go to clairehubbard.org. I'll post it. We're going to send out an e-blast, but we want you to join us tonight. So what's your social media channel? Because I'm sure people want to find you. Where can they find you? Social media are on, on all platforms is Gap X the Band. Gap X Gap the Band. X the Band. Yep. Tickets are on sale. You need to get your tickets for tomorrow night. Get your tickets for tomorrow night. Get your tickets. And um, it's going to be beautiful. The weather. You know we fall, people. Bring, bring y'all boots and y'all leather jackets and come and turn it out with them. So let me say, it's been a pleasure serving you and being a part of your day. And please remember, in complete darkness, we are all the same. It is only our knowledge and wisdom that separate us. Don't let your eyes deceive you. I am Clara Hubbard, also known as the granddaughter of the community, but I am also thanking WVTC for this opportunity to be a part of your program today. Peace and blessings. We'll see you next time. And go to my website, clarahubbard.org. Make it a great day, everyone.
Jesus. Yeah.